Knicks versus Heat. Say, man, bro, Heat culture, bro. I know they lost this game, but come on, dog. This is ridiculous. Bam is your best player in this game. Or you would think. And you ain't got no Jimmy Butler. You ain't got no Victor Oladipo. You ain't got no Tyler Hero. Like, the fact that they was even in this game. And every it all the Knicks played good. That's the crazy part. RJ came out on fire, y'all. Julius Randle throwing doms to the corner, throwing doms to the to the right wing, getting the middies off. Jalen Brunson, you know what I'm saying? He he doing Jalen Brunson things. How the hell did the the Heat make this a game, y'all? Like you said, Heat culture. I don't know. I, if you asked me, if you told me before the game, no Jimmy Butler going to play, and then they already lose missing out on Tyler Hero, and Julius Randle coming back, and he's going to be better his second game, like I, I would have just said Knicks all the way. I would never, I said Knicks by 30. Man. And, and the Knicks were scared at the end, praying that Jalen Brunson hit that shot. Oh, man. It's insane to me. That that those guys were pushing the Knicks like that without Jimmy Butler. I'm glad Jimmy Butler got to get some rest, but it, it would have been crazy if they would have got this game here with Jimmy Butler sitting on the bench resting. Bro, bro, y'all, bro, think about this, man. I'm just gonna say these names, man. Julius Randle had 25, 12, and eight. R.J. Barrett had 24. Jalen Brunson had 30. So your three best players for the Knicks all showed up and played like a number one, a number two, and a number three. Josh Hart was your fourth option. He had 14, 11, and nine, y'all. The fact that Miami, come on, man, Gabe Vincent, Caleb Martin, Max Struess, Kevin Love, Ben Adebayo, why the hell this wasn't the 30-point blowout? That's that that be the crazy like I don't like people would I I used to kind of make fun of that heat culture shit, bro. I ain't gonna cap, man. It gotta be something to that, man. Or Spolstra just goddamn Phil Jackson mixed with Pat Riley, mixed with Popovich, mixed with Kerr, mixed yeah. with Jerry Sloan. Like what I don't I don't know what the hell to why Miami is always competitive, no matter what. That, that's the crazy part. It don't matter what go on. Miami is always competitive, Ray. Ray, did you did you watch this game? <laughs> did you watch this game, Ray? Well, Miami, yeah, I watched it. I seen Gabe Vincent. Uh, that boy had a mellow squ- uh, move. He did. He caught the ball, did a couple jab steps, and then pulled it. I'm like, what he start playing like this? <laughs> and hit nothing but net. I'm like, bro, come on now, Knicks. But I mean, so, but, but this ain't the first time we've seen in the playoffs where they was missing they they um they number one option, and they still came right away with a win. This ain't the first. This ain't the first team or game we've seen like that. But miss, but the you you wouldn't think they would be able to sustain without Jimmy Butler. They look piss poor with Jimmy Butler. Yeah, to be honest. Yeah. So 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 this 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 really my question, y'all. Is this saying more about Heat culture? Or the Knicks not as good as we think they could have been because all three of them dudes really played. They balled. They wasn't just super inefficient either. Like I was never impressed with the Knicks. No, I think I, the Cavs chose yeah. low key. <laughs> like you don't chose and lose in five, bro. They they didn't come to play at all. I don't, I don't know Allen. what was going on with the Cavs. That was Jared Allen. I blame this here. You y'all know I try to uh get this shit down to the, the lowest common denominator. Jared Allen became became a son. That nigga Mitchell Robinson made that boy his son. That boy was averaging nine and seven. <laughs> That's yeah. disgusting, bro. And Mitchell Robinson didn't do nothing this game. I don't know. Our last game, I don't know. Yeah, I don't I don't know what was going on in yeah, I know you don't like Bam Adebayo. I think I'm I'm starting to come around. Like he a second option now. Your main star is out. 
all you can do is 15, 10. That's Bro, it. Bro, I told y'all, but Chris, man, don't don't get to say, man. Don't get me started, man. That's it. You gotta let Gabe Fenson and Carrie. You couldn't help him out, Bam. I- that dude, Bam, is a bum, Max Struess almost got carted out, and then he came back, and you couldn't help him out? Max Struess had more points than Bam. Like, Gabe Vincent had more. Caleb Martin. Caleb Martin. Martin Bam. Bam, seriously? Like, they, the, the really thing is the Heat just needed one more guy to come along with those three because Lowry didn't play good. Kevin Love didn't play good. Bam, he played mediocre. They, they just needed one more guy. Say, bro, they lucky Duncan Robinson didn't hit like two more threes, and we would, uh-huh. we'd be saying he didn't outplay Bam again. I ain't you right. Yeah, that heat culture is something. Man, I don't know. I, I, the Knicks, I, the Knicks got this one, and I think that's the, that might help them. And I think they might still get this in six, even with Jimmy Butler coming back. But, oh, you think? I still think oh. the Knicks. I still think the Knicks might uh, got this. So are we with, sure Jimmy Butler coming back? They said Jimmy Butler coming back next game? They say looking to come back game three, but okay. it's not confirmed or anything. Okay, okay. I, I don't know. I just I just still feel like the Knicks, I, I, don't, I feel like they, they got that first win in the garden out of the way for this series. Now they're ready to go. Man, I hope so, bro. Cause I, I, I just feel like you can't ask more from for more than RJ than twenty four. You can't mm-hmm. ask more from Julius Randle than twenty five, eleven, and whatever the hell, hell else he had. Yeah, you can't ask more for thirty from Brunson. You see what I'm saying? Like Julius yeah. Randle had twenty five, twelve, and eight. What more can you go? Like when you think about Julius Randle, you don't think about more than that. You feel like he goes should get that right there. Jalen Brunson, you want him to get that thirty. You want him to be as super efficient like he was. Mm-hmm. R.J. Barrett. If you get over 20 from R.J. Barrett, you clapping and you standing up. So it's like jo- Josh Hart damn near had a triple double. My thing is, I don't know if I'm more impressed with the Heat in this loss. <laughs> That's the crazy thing, y'all. And it's, it makes me feel like when Jimmy Butler get back and now you got Max Struess a little bit more uh feeling himself, you got Vincent a little bit more feeling himself. You got Caleb Martin thinking he can do some stuff. Say amen. Say amen. Yeah. I fuck around think that he can win this goddamn series, bro. I thought they had absolutely no chance, y'all. They still probably don't, but when you got a team that play that damn hard, bro, mm-hmm. and, and you can withstand all the three of them dudes having a good game. Yeah. That is crazy, and I feel like that needs to be talked about more, man. Because it ain't like the Knicks play like trash. They four best players play good, man. But, you know. Nah, yeah. So, uh, I, I guess uh, we, we got predictions for, for game three for that series. Ooh. <laughs> what Chris say? Orange and blue skies. Man, they barely made it out alive, man. Stop all that, dog. I'm a roll with the orange and blue for game three. I think uh, it's going to, I don't know, if Jimmy Butler play, they, they're going to, I don't know if it's going to be like the same result. They're going to need another game just to get, re- get get right back to where they, to where against like the Heat or the Bucks. And if Jimmy Butler don't play, I just don't think they're going to win, so. I'm going to go with Heat. So, Ray, you don't sound too interested in this series, huh? Uh, I mean, I'm not too big on the Heat or the Knicks, especially if they don't got Jimmy Butler in the loop. So, I don't know. It's just, just, I don't know. It's it's a, it's a, it's an odd series. Yeah, nothing really stands out with either team. Man, I'm more excited for the Heat Knicks than the goddamn Celtics Seventy Sixers. If we just gonna be a real, because I'm I'm interested in the Heat, bro. They playing like a team in the NCAA tournament that nobody <laughs> was like, how the hell are they getting this far, man? <laughs> and, 
I'm 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 being serious, man. This this Heat team is so interesting to me, bro. I just don't get it, bro. I don't get it. I love to watch niggas that we had no faith in kind of do some stuff. <laughs> That's really what it is. But we can move on. We can move on. Oh, I got I got the uh <laughs> I got the Knicks winning game three. I'm doing all this talking about the Heat. I got the Knicks winning game three. <laughs> Found some shit I love to do, so I can look comfortable. Searching for a peace of mind. Need that when it's time to rhyme. Perfect in every line. Any chance I get, and I know it takes time, but I would never quit. 